so I haven't done an update in a while. <laughs> things get crazy and busy and I forget to do the things that I need to do to keep myself going sometimes and take care of myself. Like cutting my hair. I just had that done yesterday which needed to be done badly, badly, badly. <clears throat> but anyway, I think it's week 11 possibly. Um, it's the first week of April so we have until the first week of May to go and then exams the week after that. <clears throat> I have two papers and uh, something for digital rhetoric. I don't quite know what that is. I have to look and see. We're doing data collection and some analysis in that class for the latter half of the semester, so that's kind of cool. I'm kind of excited about that. So that class is going really well. We have really awesome readings and Justin is a great professor and we all really enjoy working with him. So we're, we're really glad that Virginia Tech hired him. So that's pretty awesome. Um, what else? My other two classes. Um, rhetoric in society is okay. Um, I don't know. At first I thought it was going to be really neat that students in the class were picking readings every week. Um, I don't know, that class is kind of falling by the wayside for me because some of it seems like a repeat of Diana's class, the rhetorics of um, dissent and outrage or I don't know, something like that. Um, so there seems to be some similarities there. I don't really think we should have to take two classes that are kind of on that similar kind of topic, but then again, it was Diana's last semester teaching, so maybe nobody had any idea what she was really doing anyway. Um, yeah, and then my theory class um, is going well. We finished Thomas Rickert last week, and he Skyped into our class, so that was really neat to talk to him a little bit. He is a really interesting guy, and his book is... His book is... I don't even know how to encapsulate his book... I'm really glad that I read it because I feel like certain people that I read cite Rickert a lot. They cite, you know, ambient rhetoric in particular. And I think some of the examples are, are really salient and graspable. And some of them are just more esoteric. And I feel like, I feel like in order for his book to have... <clears throat> I don't know, to kind of take hold in your, in your life and your way of thinking about things that you kind of have to have a, a physical or embodied experience that relates to his examples, or you have to be really familiar with the examples that he gives because he uses so much from culture and like pop culture and music. So if you're not familiar with, you know, Fog Hat and Zeppelin, <laughs> You might not know what what exactly he means when he's giving some examples. We're reading another book this week by Pruchnik. I'm sorry, I can't remember his first name. It's I think it's Rhetoric and Ethics in the Cybernetic Age, and oh boy, it is a slog. It is it is difficult going. Um, Kelly actually canceled class on Tuesday because she didn't think that the first half of the book we would be able to have a very good conversation about. So I'm glad I wasn't the only one that felt like that book was just, I don't know exactly what he's talking about. We'll put it that way. I keep, you know, finding these moments where something, um, where something seems to make sense. Sorry, I can't find a more scholarly way of saying that. Um, and then there's just pages and pages and pages where I just, I don't have a clue. He talks about, um, he talks about Alan Turing, which is really interesting and coincidental because we just watched the imitation game the other night, the movie, and it was kind of cool to think about Alan Turing as an example for, I don't know, for whatever Pruchnik is trying to talk about, and I tried really hard, but I just don't get it. 
Um, so anyway, that's my classes. They're going just fine. Um, I had to write my two-page dissertation research statement talking about the project that I want to do and kind of hint at a research question, so that's good. I have to work on that a little bit more, tweak it up a little bit. I talked to Carlos yesterday. We went and had lunch with uh, Kelly, the other Kelly, <laughs> and um, talked about some of the future PTW classes and the department a little bit, you know, like the, the curriculum and how some of that is being adjusted to, you know, better better meet the students' needs and, and what we think they'll need when they go on to the job market. So that's kind of cool to be a part of. I'm teaching professional writing in the fall, so that's really fun. I got an email from who I assume is the course coordinator wanting to talk about some of the changes that they've made to that course after the semester ends. That's really neat. And then in the spring, I'll be teaching science writing, so that's really cool too. And then the other half of my assistantship will be helping Carlos with the internships for the PTW students. So putting them in touch with different companies and industries so that they can get some on-the-job experience, which is pretty dang cool for them. I hope they think it's cool. I think it's cool. And anything else? Uh, the research statement is kind of big. Oh, so I have to turn in a bibliography or reading list by the end of the semester. So they want to see the, the stuff that I'm going to be reading for my dissertation. So that's kind of fun, putting all that together. Um, the, the actual reading part is a different story, but I love putting together lists of, of stuff to read, of bibliographies. That's a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> have to do that. We have a meeting for our summer internship. We have is it an internship? I forget what they're calling it. It's not an internship. It's an assistantship. Um, for the summer, we have a couple of months um, to work on our own research in the Center for Rhetoric and Society, which is pretty cool. And we have a meeting with Katie Powell at the end of the semester about that. I have a couple of conferences this summer. Um, we got into computers and writing. Yay. I am working on the getting the travel funding for that. It's been a little tricky. Hit a couple of uh, potholes along the way, but so far so good it seems like. Um, also going to uh, RSA's Summer Institute. I have to figure out something to do for the workshop there because apparently the idea that I had is not, uh, it's not gonna work. Byron Hawk said, uh -uh. so I gotta yeah, figure something else out. And then, oh, WPA. Um, so we're going to go to WPA, and some of us that are on a w, WPA Go task force are going to be talking about the survey and the data that we want to collect on graduate student um, graduate student labor, basically, um, in the field and kind of what that looks like across the nation. So that'll be kind of cool. And then this week, um, tonight, I'm heading up to University of Maryland for a women's rhetorics and writing conference, and there's going to be all kinds of really fantastic people there, like Cheryl Glenn and Jacqueline Royster, and they're celebrating, um, I'm assuming she's retiring because they said they're celebrating the career of Shirley Logan and Jane Donaworth, so this is going to be really awesome. I'm really excited about this. And I'll get to see some people at Maryland that I haven't seen in a while, so that'll be really fun. Like Jesse Nick and Danielle and Ruth, who's also on the WPA GO committee with me. She's the chair of the committee. And um, I don't think I'm going to see Nabila, unfortunately. I think she said that she's busy. But anyway, that's kind of everything that's going on right now. And um, oh, the house is coming along nicely. Everything looks really great. Steve has busted his butt. I mean, like, really, really busted his butt, and everything looks awesome. It actually looks like a house now that people can live in. Yay! And hopefully the fleas will not come back. That would be really excellent, too. Um, yeah, 
So that's kind of everything. Steve got a job. He's pretty excited about that and he actually likes it quite a bit. So everything's kind of keeping on, keeping on right now. It's just, you know, another couple weeks until a little bit of craziness. But I only have to do it this one last time. Yay! And then no more coursework and I'm so excited about that. Alright peeps, take care. Peace out.